I'm going to show you how to load data in and out of a PDF form. So here we have a blank form, it could be any form, and we're just going to throw in some data in here. Okay, so I have two forms, two fields. Let's go to Excel. We have I have some code already lined up. It's just going to pull the data out. Okay, so here's all the field names, pulls the field names and the values. Let's go find where we dropped in some data. Okay, here we go. So for this field name, load it in uh, what was in the PDF form. Go back to the PDF form. Let's just double check. So if you hit pre prepare form, it gives you all of the field names. So we know we loaded data into the patient name. It's called PT name. Go back to the Excel file. PT name. So that code will just pull data out of all the form fields. That's pretty simple code here. I'll provide it, but it's just opening Excel or opening Adobe. It's going through the different um, fields right here, and then it's loading it onto sheet one in these different ranges. It's pretty simple. Next, what we want to do is we want to write data. Uh, we want to basically just reverse the process. So anything, these are the field names. We can load in whatever data we want here. So let's just let's just type in something different here. Uh, Rick Santos, and then let's just make this um, Zimbabwe. Probably spelled that wrong. Okay, so I want to load in this data. My code is actually I need to actually need to be in column A. I, I could fix that, but I won't. Oops need to be in column A, delete. The field names need to be in column A for the code to work. So I'll go over here, uh, run this code for writing into Adobe Fields, which is down here, I believe. Oh yeah, read Adobe Field, oh no, no, sorry. Got a lot of different code in here, write right to Adobe Fields. Okay, let's just see if it works. Probably won't. Okay, so what we did here is I made a mistake. Just uh, the, the code needs the field names to start in, in row one. The row one was blank. Let's Let's just rerun this code. Okay, so the code ran. We loaded into PT name, these two things. Let's go over to the PDF file. There it is, Rick Santos, Zimbabwe. Beautiful, the code. Um, you know, I don't know if you have any questions, but basically here's the code that does it. I took some of this code off of another video that I had, but really what I did is I enabled this little sucker here. This creates a loop that loops through all the fields, field names in column A. There was 252 form fields, so I put that in there. You could, you could make that more dynamic if you wanted. Uh, but this is this is the code right here that makes it go down this list of field names anywhere it finds it's gonna it's gonna load in anything here so if a field name is here it's gonna load it in that means if it, it's gonna be blank so let's just take this out and rerun it and see what happens 
Okay, we got Rick Santos in here. Okay, so we see here, PT name, blank. Run this code. Should now see Rick Santos disappear off of our sheet. And just like that. I'll put the code down so you can utilize it. We got most of the code from this video here. He just didn't quite get me to the place where I could load in data from my Excel spreadsheet. He was loading data strictly from VBA, from the video, from the VBA editor. I wanted to load in data from the Excel spreadsheet. And no one out there has this video where you load in Excel data into a PDF form. And I'm gonna give you the code. I'm gonna try to make that. I'm gonna leave the code in the description, I think wherever I can load it in. Thanks.